It was a lovely day on the Northwestern Railway. Thomas was puffing down his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle. Hello, Bertie. Care for I sa Bust my buffers! What happened to you? I was just driving down the road when a group of teenagers thought it would be a great idea to chuck stones at me and they hit an old lady who has been taken to Wellsworth Hospital. I've also heard that they have a hate boner for steam engines. Hmm. Well, if I see them, I'll give them a piece of my mind. As Thomas steamed into Park Cross Station, he was still thinking about them. Percy, Bertie told me about a group of vandals who like to cause trouble. Oh, my driver told me about them. They also vandalized one of the stations on the mainland. Hmm. Well, I'm keeping a good look out for them. Could I help? Sure. I don't see why not. Later that day, Percy was puffing down the line when he saw Bertie. He was being towed by train to the garage to be mended. Hey, Percy. I take it you've heard about the vandals as well? I have! My driver told me that they had the guts to vandalize a station on the mainland too! Yikes! Oh, I know. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for them. Race. Come on, Bertie. Let's get you to the garage. That night, all the engines were asleep in their sheds, but unknown to them, the vandals that Bertie told Thomas and Percy about earlier had snuck into the yards. <laughs> Who on Sodor did this?! What, what was, was that? that? We've been spotted! Skid out all! What's all the yelling about? Someone spread graffiti on Annie, sir! I'll clean her tomorrow. In the meantime, Thomas, you'll have to use some other cultures for morning train. That was close! Yeah! I know! What do we do now? We'll have to try and cause trouble for the engines on the branch line. The next day, Toby puffed into Ellsbridge when he saw a shocking sight. The station is in a mess! Who the heck did this? I think it might have been done by the same ones who vandalised Annie last night. Mavis was shunting some trucks at the quarry when someone changed the points and sent them right into the shed.
Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. The sheds, the edges had an indication meeting. So let me guess, you got tricked by the vandals, huh? I can tell. Well, not me, but I did see they vandalized Ellsbridge Station. Right. Tonight I will give them a piece of my mind. That night, Thomas puffed into the harbour to collect his mail trucks. He was just looking for a break fan when he heard a voice. Hello, Mr. Thomas. Toad, what are you doing here? Well, Mr. Oliver is at the works due to an accident with some trucks, and I was working with Mr. Douglas and Mr. Julian on the main line for the time being. Well, I was just collecting the post train as well as keeping out for some vandals been giving our branch line all sorts of trouble. Oh, could I help? It sounds so exciting. Sure thing, Toad. I was in need of a break then, anyway. So Toad was coupled up and off they went. Early the next morning, Thomas was dropping off the post when he saw something. Looks like the vandals have stolen his car. What's with vandals stealing cars? Of all people, first it was the bus like state commander, and then the world where state commander I had that photo, and now the fat controller. We better stop them from getting away. Oh, let's go capture some vandals, Mr. Thomas. Look, here's the blue puffball. Let's get out of here! No, you don't! What was that? Sorry, Butch, can't stop! What the hell, oh, Sorgo? Did they do that? I have no idea. <laughs> At Ellsbridge Station, Toby and Percy were telling the Fat Controller about the Vandals. What's this about Vandals? They were causing a lot of trouble and they vandalized Annie two nights ago. Hey, funny you should cheer, Judge. Because yesterday, I was out in Vickish Tower when I saw someone driving off with my car. In fact, here it comes right now! Whoa! 
What on earth? Talk about a near-death experience. Chomish, what's going on? I was just dropping off some posts for Tom Tipper and his brother when Toad and I saw that they were in your car. So that's where it went. Not so fast. You have given me and the fourth car engines a lot of trouble. You stole my car for crying out loud. But we were borrowing it, fat hat. Last time my chitch, borrowing and stealing are two different things. Soon Wendell and Policeman Len arrive to take the vandals to jail. This is my first arrest this month. I'd say this is my busiest month I've had so far. Wouldn't you agree, PC Len? Yeah, I know. Good riddance. Well, John Thomas, you have proven yourself to be a really useful engine once again. As for you, George, you also are a really useful breakfast as you helped Thomas stop them from getting away in my car. And now I've got my car keys back thanks to PC Len. Thank you, sir. And Thomas and Toad bean from buffer to buffer.